happening today, members of the Hallandale Beach SWAT team are expected to meet with Police Chief Sonia Quinones. The chief set up a meeting with the officers who resigned from their assignment on Friday. CBS Sports Ted Scott is live in Hallandale Beach with the latest, Ted. Maribel Chief Quinones had a news conference just a few moments ago. She said she is very disappointed how all of this happened. And when we spoke to her, she said when she was at that rally, she took a knee for respect and also uh, to make a stand against racism. Now, at 3 o'clock, what we understand is going to happen, those SWAT team members, those 10 members who resigned, are going to come here to the Hallandale Beach Police Department. The chief said she's going to listen to their concerns. That's what she said was her main thing. She wanted to hear what their concerns are. Earlier, the city also told us that they would be collecting in their equipment and they would be thanked for their service. Get your knee off my neck! Get your knee off my neck! It's this picture that prompted the SWAT team from the Hallandale Beach Police Department to resign as SWAT members. It shows Chief Sonia Quinones taking a knee along with protesters outside the police department. The union called it shocking, saying it appeared the command staff was taking a knee in solidarity with activists and the city's vice mayor, who they say said she wants police officers fired and charged. While some chanted to get a closed police involved shooting case reopened. The union representing the officer said in a statement the team is minimally equipped, undertrained, and oftentimes restrained by the politicalization of our tactics to the extent of placing the safety of dogs over the safety of team members and alleged the city commission has openly disrespected officers and that the vice mayor has openly made ignorant and inaccurate statements attacking the lawful actions of the city's officers and SWAT team. The city responded saying they specifically mentioned their displeasure with the chief joining members of our community taking a knee against racism, hatred and intolerance earlier this week. They have incorrectly stated the gesture was in support of an elected official. This is simply not true. In a statement, officials said the city of Hallandale Beach continues to have special weapons and tactics coverage through regional mutual aid. And we spoke to the city manager just a few moments ago as well. He said what's going to happen next is this whole thing will go in front of the city commission, likely on Wednesday when they have their next meeting. He said at that point, this kind of opened up the door to decide if they need a SWAT department to begin with or if they can contract out for it. We are told that in, since October of 2017, the SWAT team has been called out 11 times. Live in Hallandale Beach, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.